Welcome to Insights with FNZC. I'm CJ Dore and joining me is Glenn Sari, CEO of MetLife Care. Glenn, good to see you. If we have a look at the last 30 years of your company within that retirement village sector, it's been a real foundation period. What have you taken from that in order to interpret the changes that need to come into play for that next generation of experience, the next 30 years? Well, the demand drivers and the things that have fueled growth in the retirement village sector in the last three decades largely remain unchanged. So that's things like uh, security, safety, sociability is a really important thing, and having uh, certainty and knowing that your environment is being well taken care of in terms of maintenance and hassle-free lifestyle, and also access to care should that be needed. Those fundamentally remain unchanged. When we look to the next few decades, we're thinking a great deal about our customer of the future, the baby boomer, mm. and what those demands and expectations are going to be and how we build off that base to ensure that the services and the product that we provide in the future is as relevant to the baby boomer as it's been to their parents. So that next generation of customer, um, what are you actually doing about that to put in place an experience or an offer? What does that look like for someone to say that MetLife care experience, that's for me, what is in place? Well, it's quite multifaceted. If we think about the in-village experience, we're working hard on the customer experience and thinking of it more as a hospitality environment. So evidenced by our relationship with Simon Galt to really lift the standard of food and dining in the villages. Mm -hmm. Our care offering, we've introduced the Homestead model, which is a really high quality premium care offering, which is, uh, we think, fantastic. And then when it comes to the built form, we're looking at the way in which the villages interact and connect with the communities that we're part of. So rather than just being a gated community, that we're an active part of the communities and our residents are telling us that's increasingly important. Yeah, and that's also an interesting part, I guess, of the total investment story, that long-term strategy. So finally, there's an example in the Pahutakawa Coast, which is a real live example of how that experience has actually been tied together right now within a community. So what's that? So we've got three villages that have been built adjacent to large-scale residential developments. And in the Pahutakawa Coast example, the village is very near the Pine Harbour Marina, so it's got a lovely aspect. But we've also got, when we're designing it, we're thinking about how does it connect with all of the residential development and the existing housing that we're surrounded by. So it's critically important that the design and the way in which we fit into that community, we feel like we belong. Mm. And equally, we want to design a place that um, uh, residents are going to feel very comfortable living and ideally that their kids can live nearby in the developments that are occurring nearby. And so you get that really strong integration across the generations. So all of the research we've done shows that that's going to be really important, especially for the baby boomer generation who are our customer of the future. It'll be really interesting to see that next generation. Glenn Sari, CEO of MetLife Care has been with us. I'm CJ Dore. This is Insights with FNZC. Thanks for watching.